everybody's talking about, you know, Kansas City or whatnot and the Patriots um, or whatnot. If you had to pick the Patriots playing in an AFC championship game, which is on the road in Kansas City, versus, you know, which is going to be versus Kansas City, Belichick Brady, AFC championship game versus Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, one game on the road to win. I'm putting my on the pass. Yeah, I like KC to lose in the divisional round okay. more than I would the AFC title game. I think once they get to the AFC title game, they've gotten a little bit of that monkey off their back because they've won the week before. They've gotten some confidence there. And, you know, Mahomes would have his first playoff uh, win under his belt. And I would like Kansas City to have steadied themselves a little bit coming off of that divisional game. I think they're in upset potential in the divisional game. And look, of course you could win. I'm not writing you off. I'm not saying you have zero chance. But I would pick Kansas City in that game for sure. I would. Even even though we've seen Andy Reid's history as a, a, a playoff coach. See, I, the reason why I look at the one game on the road, and, and, and I know everybody was going to say, oh, look at their road record all year. That's during the year. But when you talk about an AFC championship game, which I've been a part of, I've played on the road and I've played um, at home before. When you, you're a team that has that experience and you have the quarterback and you have the coach, to me, everybody's a-holes get like, you know, you can't even get a pin up there. And the thing that I look at – Kansas City's a little more vulnerable in that first one, in that first playoff game. If they win and get to you, Wiggy, they've gotten over that thing. Or they've right. – I still, I still but, but the level – every game goes up. Wild card, then the divisional, the intensity, the level of play, and then the AFC championship game. So even though you've gotten past the divisional game – it's still another level that you have to step up and play at. So, and the thing that I always look at in those games, we've seen how many games have we seen? I'm just talking about in the NFL over the past 10 years. And it always comes down to the coach and the quarterback. Either the coach is making a dumb decision or he's doing well, wait, something. It always come down to the coach and quarterback. Cause if that were the case, you'd have 18 Super Bowl wins instead of five. So but, but, you know, but, you've lost. You've lost plenty of games against bad quarterbacks and bad coaches. It's that's right. just a cliche. Right, but no, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this that when it comes to winning in those games, it's either the coaches making dumb decisions. Like take 07, for example, right? With the Patriots, what they lost, the reason why they lost that game is because they played um man to man on the backside with Ellis Hobbs versus um damn. Plaxico Burris, who's six five, and he runs a he runs a slant and go, and they just throw it up in the air. That is clearly on the coach, Bill Belichick. So the point that I'm trying to make is that if I had to put my money on coach and you know a coach making a better decision between Andy Reid and Bill Belichick, I would bet more along of the side of Coach uh, Belichick making smarter decisions than Andy Reid. That's all I'm saying about those type of games.